Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it. And so now, so I'm to you about a new exclusive video that really be notified. Let me first of all give thanks to my ancestors, you know, and second to God, the creator that of course gave me the life <clears throat> uh, because you know it's not easy to see another year and of course in a couple of hours time I will be celebrating my birthday January 1st is a special day and me being born in this special day makes me very very you know happy and uh, Give thanks to my sisters and also for the fact that you know coming from where I came from, coming from the god of the goddess, you know, I never thought I would make it past, you know, current age I am now. You know, I never thought I would make it past 20, you know what I mean? Because I mean I was just young when I lost my brother, my one of my best friends, in my friend when he got shot and killed, you know, my other brothers, you know, lost some some people and then some lost their legs over some shit. You know, it's just crazy. So I have to thank God for that. Now let's go to the um to the subject. Oh, uh, Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez. Um, I stated that uh, he believes Anthony Joshua stops Tyson Fury late. Okay, he's backing Anthony Joshua to stop him late, and he believes that is what I say. I quote. AJ wins by a list of age. AJ has that raw power which will make Fury think before boxing him more than beating him up. <clears throat> As Joshua gets his second wind in later rounds, that's when he will land a shot on Fury and knock him out. Canelo told Sky Sports. I mean, Joshua don't get a lot of credit, uh, especially from fellow boxers you know um some trainers you know what i mean who of course they didn't know joshua and of course some uh promoters you know i don't want to name them but you are known the promoters are listening to joshua joshua is a special fighter a fighter that learns from his mistake quickly than his rivals let's take a look at the underwater for example the onto water we have seen, we have all we we all have seen the onto water defense not being good enough. We've complained we've, we've about it. We've 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 also analyzed how a fighter would beat the onto water. Me, Emerton, Tom, Tajek, we we talked about this. Go we'll check it out. You know, if you think we'll, if you think I'm lying. A pressure fighter, a fighter that brings a pressure on his front foot will beat you until what? We said it. We, we said we, he, would, he would beat him. We said that. And, uh, Anthony, Anthony Joshua was, of course, looking forward in implementing his sole strategy because you cannot, you know, fight on the back foot against water because that right hand that he has, he only needs that just once or twice to get you out of there. That's what makes him very, very dangerous. That's a very new that. Deontay Wilder, of course, himself knows his weakness, but he didn't want to work on it because they believe that in the whole, like, 36 minutes, at least he will learn something. That's, he was basing it on that, thinking he, he has to learn something, or he will learn something, which he didn't because Fury took that away in the rematch. So when Fury and Joshua meet in the ring, it's going to be a very, very interesting fight. And I still believe that Joshua will beat Tyson Fury. Okay, Tassie Fury, no doubt, is a phenomenal boxer, a very awkward one. Joshua is the only one, is the only boxer that that can beat Tassie Fury. The only boxer. Because Joshua, when he, when he wants to fight you, okay, when he's about to fight you, he's not going to just look at, you know, what you do best and what you do wrong. He's going to study every inch of your move, every inch of your style, every inch of of what you do good and what you do bad. That's what Joshua does. Joshua is not a delusional guy that I think, okay, let me just do what I do. If I win, I win. If I don't win, no. He's going to study like a book. And believe you me, Joshua is going to study this like a book. Study him and 
get the job done. And I think it's going to be by knockout though, but I don't know if it's going to be late or early. It could come early because Joshua always gets his, gets his, his win back uh, in, the later, in the later rounds. And then Ruiz Jr. fight, you know, he couldn't get it back or didn't get it back because he had no time to get it back. The referee stopped the fight. But believe you me, Joshua could have, could have, would have kept fighting on, you know what I mean? If the referee didn't stop it. When Paul called him quitting and all the stuff, they just they just hit up on Joshua and they don't want they don't want to speak the the fact. Joshua never laid himself flat at the, after that those knockdowns that Drew Jr. got over him, he still kept getting back up. That shows the mentality of this guy. The guy is a warrior, he's a fast learner. And what did he do in the, in the rematch? He went back and studied under his gym, <laughs> studied him as a like a book taught him every of his move and everything and came up with a game plan and implemented a game plan and you saw what happened that's what Joshua is Joshua is a tinker Joshua is a strategist Joshua is a wise boxer and a boxer that is very 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 intelligent and a fast learner as well that's what makes him special and when that fight happens, you guys will know what I mean. Stay blessed, stay on with Stumble, and cheers guys.